Errol Spence Jr., 10 Essentials, take one. Pop it. Pop it. There you go. What's up, GQ? This is Errol Spence Jr., the IBF welterweight champion of the world, and these are my 10 Essentials. First essential to me, the most important essential to me is my daughters. This is Ivy, she's the oldest. She's three years old. And Violet around here somewhere. Come here, Violet. You wanna go on TV? There you go. My two daughters. Most important thing to me is family. Can't survive without them. I need them, they're my motivation. They're the reason why I grind, the reason why I box. Oh, you need your glasses? Here. You wanna put them on? You go cool, girl. Everything I do, I do for these two. Mm. All right, next up, my number two thing that I always carry with me, my essential, is my watch. And, uh, you know, skeleton face. And also, this one right here. This one's really my dream watch. I always have a watch on me at all times. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. I like. I think you're supposed to have a watch, especially when you dress up or you go on places and things like that. So my next watch is gonna be a Richard Mille. You know, it's kind of like Jordan or something. It's like every year a new watch come out, and then you like you see everybody wearing it. You like, man, I, I want that watch too. That watch nice. So you know, a Richard Mille costs like two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. So well, that's the watch that I want. I gotta take care of business September twenty eighth with Sean Porter. After that, I can go cop a new watch. Next up, we got the candy I always have. This candy is really, it's vegan, it's kosher. I can eat it all through camp. I eat it outside of camp. And it's, it's just the candy that I travel with all the time. I eat it, even do a training camp. It can be a, a day before the fight and I'm eating the candy. So these right here, man, these. For me, this is like the best candy on the market because they don't give me a tummy ache. And it's plant-based too. It's plant-based, it's kosher, it's high in fiber, so. I mean, my coach, my coach see me eating and he can't really say nothing because, I mean, it's good for me. So, you know, it's the type of candy I eat all the time, even after dinner, before dinner, sometimes even after breakfast. So, smart sweets. My next essential is my sponge. Thanks. The sponge, I got to take it everywhere. You know, I just put it in my pocket. I had one in my car. Got like 40 there, one at home. You know, it's for my hair. Get... I don't have a regular afro. This is a drop fade for people who don't know. It's the hairstyle that's in style and basically twist your hair up. So I keep these everywhere. You know, like a woman keep a comb in their purse. I keep this in my car, at home, in my pocket. You know, everywhere I go, I keep one of these. I probably got one in the locker room in the gym too. For grooming, sponging is essential. Next essential is actually on my feet. My custom Crocs, they actually, you know, have a lot to do with my amateur career. Man down, I have my kids on them, strap season, my motto, and my fight record on there, 90s baby. I'm from Texas. And, um, you know, basically, these are my shoes of choice. I wear them at the airport, I wear them while I'm going to the gym. If I'm going to a training session, these are probably, I'm wearing these before I go to the training session, so. If I'm not going anywhere that I need to dress up or if I'm not going anywhere that, you know, I need to wear pants or, you know, a dress up shirt, I'm probably wearing Crocs. So if Crocs hear that, holla at me, get endorsed, maybe get something going. But these are my custom Crocs. I think the person makes fashion. Um, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things aren't fashion until somebody start wearing them and then they see, you know, you got five, ten or other people wearing them. So, Russell Westbrook, when he's dressing weird in the NBA, everybody was saying that's not fashion. And then you got Dwayne Wade doing it, and you got James Harden doing it, and now everybody dressing like Russell Westbrook. So, I mean, nothing's fashion until somebody does it and then becomes that trendsetter. So, I'm gonna be the trendsetter. I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna rock the Crocs and have everybody else rock the Crocs. As you guys can see, I'm always on the go, so I always keep a portable charger with me. I have three phones, so it's easy to charge. I mean, it holds battery and um, 
you know, especially when I'm in the airport, I'm running around, I'm always out of town, and uh, I don't have a lot of plugs, so this is why I carry it with me. Keep all three of my phone charged out the whole day, and I love this thing to death. So, I always gotta keep this wherever I go. My next top essential is my mouthpiece. I always keep my mouthpiece on me just because I like to travel. And a lot of times I travel to like Vegas and California, and I travel different fights, and um, I'm always looking to spar somebody. And um, actually the last time I went to Las Vegas, I had my mouthpiece and I was gonna spar heavyweight. He was like 15 and 0. And um, I was trying to spar him, but he didn't want to spar. So I always keep my mouthpiece on me because there's always somebody talking noise over the internet or a boxer talking noise on my comments on Instagram and Twitter. And um, I keep it on me just in case I run into them and ask them, do they want to spar? I got a bunch of customers. I got probably about 15 mouthpieces, so. What does this one say? Uh, this one says the truth on it. Why truth? Uh, I got the truth because that's my nickname. I'm the truth. And um, basically, I got named that as an amateur and I've been running with it ever since. This cologne right here, this top of the line cologne right here. This is Mason Francis Crajon. Paris. And this is, I think every man should have cologne, especially, you know, on them because for one, women love cologne. <laughs> and, um, you know, basically you want to smell good. So um, I think every man should have cologne. I always have top cologne. I always have cologne with me. I'm a collector of cologne. I love cologne and, um, you know, just make you smell good. If you smell good, you feel good. So this is my top cologne right here. What's your application? <laughs> uh, it just depends. Sometimes I may spray it on my hand and just do like this. <laughs> or I'm always spraying my neck. I'm always spraying my neck. But usually I hit it on my hand and I just, <laughs> I rub it all over my body. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit, you know, a lot of people don't do that, but I do it. I mean, it works. So, you know, I do whatever works. This is my Mophie. This is my little phone. And um, a lot of people don't have this number. And, um, you know, if you had this number, you'd be very important. And, uh, you know, I keep this phone on me. A lot of people don't know about this phone, so it's gonna get out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is my third phone. It's my Mophie. I keep it on me. It's my personal, personal phone. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, this best keep secret, kept secret right here. Well, it was the best kept secret until I put it on here, so now it's out. Oh, definitely, definitely. When this phone rings, I need to answer the phone because it's either it's something, it's something important, and it's something probably got to do with money. Okay, this is my passport. Well, the main reason I keep this passport on me because, and hold on, this is not even my passport, bro. It's not my passport. This passport feels too new. It's so all like, hold on, huh? Can I just act like it's my passport? This is my passport. I keep my passport on me because I can never keep up with my driver license. <laughs> so I keep this on me at all times. I had a driver license in two years. So I always keep my passport on because I don't lose it because I like to travel. I travel a lot, especially when I'm not in camp. And um, you know, that's basically it. Where's the last place you went? Um, the last place I went was Jamaica. And that's where my dad's from. So we actually got land out there and things. So I went out there for a pre-training camp and actually trained out there in the countryside with my dad. The next essential choice is my headphones. I need these headphones. I love listening to music, and even if I'm not listening to music, I have them in my ears so people won't talk to me. Um, you know, especially when I'm at the gym or I'm out somewhere and I just put them in my ears so, you know, people won't walk up and just, you know, talk to me, things like that, especially when I'm not, you know, feeling bothered. Especially like right now, I'm in training camp, I'm losing weight. And I'm tired, and you know, I walk in Walmart, and you know, people want to walk up to me and talk to me, but sometimes they see my earbuds in, and it kind of deterred them from walking up to me. So, um, you know, I love these things. I'd have about 10 pair of these, I always lose them. I need to put a tracking device on them. <laughs> but, um, you know, I love these headphones. Do you have an iPhone? Oh, yeah, definitely. Can you my iPhone? Oh, you can? I think so, I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that. You can, do, you can do that? For real? Oh, man. Man, I got about. 10 ear pods around my, around, <laughs> around my, my spot. What's on your playlist right now? What do you listen to? Uh, what's on my playlist right now? It's Yellow Beezy. I listen to a lot of Yellow Beezy. He asked Dallas, and he actually walked me out twice. Two fights in a row, my last two fights. Um, 
I'm listening to a lot of Lil Ronnie mother. Can I say mother? Yeah. Oh, well, Lil Ronnie mother. He asked you for Dallas too. I'm gonna listen to a lot of Yo Gotti, Jay Z, Kanye West. It just depends on what type of mood I am in. But I mean, if I'm in a training mood, I'm listening to Meat Mills and um, people like that. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching my 10 Essentials. Catch me September 28th on my next fight.